A week after hundreds of University of Delaware students protested following the violent attack of a female student, the university community came together tonight to talk about safety and moving forward. Kerry Carrado attended tonight's meeting and has more. Your raised voices brought us here today. Campus safety concerns sparked a conversation at the University of Delaware. Students fought for change after they learned about a fellow classmate who police say was brutally attacked by her ex boyfriend. It's important that we discuss gender based violence on campus, especially with everything that's happening. Investigators say on October 8th, 20 year old Brandon Fryer spray painted his ex girlfriend, choked her unconscious, and threw her down the stairs. Fryer was arrested after the violent attack, suspended and banned from campus. He also had his membership revoked from fraternity Kappa Delta Rho. Last week, hundreds of students marched on Main Street, voicing their frustrations and showed they stand with the victim. University administrators support their activism and will continue to empower students through learning and education. We ask them to say, step up and be the change that you think we need in the world. And so I, I think that's a, a form of, of leadership that we're seeing on behalf of our students. Faculty and staff reminded students of the resources and counseling available on campus to help with trauma and mental health and other wellness issues. I thought it was like very well organized and all of the resources that they provided, like the phone numbers, that was super helpful and that they showed them multiple times. Just to know that there's even all these different faculty members on campus is so helpful and just so even just like makes me feel a little bit better about this whole situation. We are told there will be a candlelight vigil later this week for domestic violence victims. In the meantime, we are told the conversations will not stop here. At the University of Delaware, Carrie Corrado, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.